Hey friends and welcome back to another hair tutorial here on my channel, Putting Up With The Pom Pons. If you are new to our channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join the family. To all of my returning subscribers, hey bestie, how you doing? Hope you are being safe and blessed as always. In this tutorial, I will be doing the interlocking method to uh, tighten up my Marley twist to hold on to them for at least a couple of more weeks. In this video, you'll see my process and I will also be giving some tips and tricks on how I achieve achieved it. This is my hair right before I washed it. As you can see, it has plenty of buildup, nice and fuzzy roots. Let's go ahead and talk about this. All right, so I fell asleep last night after washing my hair. It felt so good. I just, I fell asleep, I fell asleep. So this is next morning, early morning. Uh, um, I have my hair still kind of damp, but most of it I think has dried. All right, so this is what it is looking like right now. So I'm going to start to uh, try to uh, re like twist it or um, yeah, and do that, and we'll see how it goes. I already did these two, so I'm gonna put those to the side. I did this one as well. Was afraid I messed it up on that one because I did it like three, I did like three interlocking um, moves versus just one on these two. So I'm gonna just go with one because I don't have enough Negro for doing it multiple times. So I just go in and I'm going from the, the south to the north. So we're coming up. I'm gonna grab the end and then crochet it through to bring it back down south. And just like that, it's now tightened. So it doesn't look like this, where it's like halfway hanging off my head. So we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So going in from the north, oops. Going in from the south, coming up from the north. And pull it through. And I'm gentle with it because I don't want it to like snatch or anything. You can see this is one that I had the rubber band with. I'm gonna leave it in there, I'm not bothered by it. And there it is. Now it's not like super poofy out there like it was before. And it looks nice and tightened. And I'm gonna go ahead and try to twist my hair back into it. And there it is. So we got those done. And then I'm gonna just take some oil. I'm gonna go in with my Pretty Strands hair oil. It's one of my favorite oils. And I'm just gonna apply it to the scalp where I just did. All done with this section. So let's do the rest of these. So I just wanted you to kind of see the difference. Like it looks a lot better to me. Like it doesn't look four weeks old. Now it looks like a week and a half, two weeks old. So <laughs> this is the side that I have not done. As you can see, you can't really see my parts anymore. Lots of growth. And then this is the side that I did do. As you see, it looks a lot more tightened up and not as frizzy. It is not super, super tight. I don't feel like a whole lot of tension. And that's what I'm kind of like watching as I'm um, doing this look. And I think just looping it through once was good enough. You have all of this, like new growth versus this side. It's like a world of difference, ain't it? Like. No, is it just me? Like, can you see the difference? It, you can't even see my scalp on the side, and you now have the fine parts on the side. I just don't want to take my hair. I want to try to make this style last. And one of the reasons why I take out a lot of my protective style is one, because my hair feeling dirty and itchy, and like I can't deal with the, the buildup, and two, because of the growth. I don't like that it no longer looks uniform and I look like a, you know, damn wolf puppy walking around here. So I. I like All right, 
so I just finished the back. Show that what it's looking like now. I think I did pretty good. Like for this to be like my first time doing any kind of like locking or like re-twisting, locking, methane, interlocking, whatever. I think I did pretty good. I'm still debating whether or not I will let allow it to lock. The way I change hairstyles, like I don't know, but I think it looks good. So <laughs> I gotta, you know, do my face and come back and look like a bad bitch because I just, you just can't close out a hair tutorial or a hair video without cleaning yourself up. Like you just gotta look as fresh as possible. I'm going to add a couple of beads and some jewels to it to, you know, make it look a little cute and girly. Give it that, like, bohemian look. But these are definitely going to stay in for another probably month. Thank you guys for joining us on a, another hair video. We appreciate all of the love that we receive on here. Thank you so much for all of the support as well. And we will see y'all on a, another video. Please be blessed and be safe.